If you were wondering what The Cure sounded like without any uh, any sonic mastering or bass in the music, then uh, producer Sam uh, dug that out especially for you. That was pictures of you uh, by The Cure. Where did you find that? I found it. <laughs> <laughs> On an iPhone 3. <laughs> On Robert Smith's kind of like hard... You, you asked for that song, so I delivered. It's a great song. Look, there you go. Uh, welcome back to Talk Radio. Now, at the beginning of the show, we asked you guys to get involved and let us know... What movies changed your life? The reason is, is because uh, producer Sam actually uh, actually watched something this week. I did. Uh, cool. Tell everybody what it was. I, I watched The Films That Made Us, um, <laughs> which is a series on Netflix. Yes. Uh, because I enjoy the series The Toys That Made Us. Great series. Mm -hmm. um, so I watched that and I wanted to find out whether you'd seen it and I wanted to find out what actually what films actually made people tick. So it's like a mini-series. They have four episodes? Four, four episodes focusing around four films. Of those four, four films... Four classic 80s films. Four classic 80s films. That, that, you know, that hundreds of millions of people have yeah. watched. The, the, Dirty Dancing, yeah. Die Hard, uh, Ghostbusters and Home Alone. Yeah. yeah. Four films that pretty four much everyone films. in the world has seen. Yeah, I've seen one. Um, well, hang on, is that, I mean, I four. cannot even get yes. my head around this fact. So, which one have you seen? What one do you think I've seen? I Home think alone. you've seen Home Alone. No, it's Ghostbusters. You're kidding. I've Are never you... seen Home Alone. I mean, what? I, I very nearly yeah. swore on air then. No, I have never. No. You've never seen Home Alone? No. You've never seen Die Hard? No. Someone else what? has told me that's a Christmas film as well. Is that true? Yes. Yeah. Right, okay. I don't no. care what Bruce Willis And Home says. Alone is. And I'm not even pulling your leg here. I genuinely haven't. You've not seen Dirty Dancing? No. Mate, what do you do with your life? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Is this an age thing? Uh, put up your microphone to Becky with the red hair and Becky with the good hair. Uh, Becky with the brown hair, rather. Uh, what? Um, <laughs> You've insulted someone behind the mic. Someone's offended. How, how many of those four have each of you seen? Um, can you ha say them again? Home please? Alone. Yep, seen that. Dirty Dancing. Yep. Ghostbusters. Yep. Die Hard. I've seen Die Hard. I knew the first one, though. What about other Becky? I've seen every film that you mentioned but Die Hard. What I know, I'm sorry. Hell? I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Should I leave? I'll so leave. it's only Die Hard. It's, Look, that's better than oh, me, well, though. Well, well, okay, first of all, first of all, it's only Die Hard <laughs> are not words that should ever be stitched together it's in ridiculous. what you can call I gave, I gave away the plot of Fight Club on air the other week because I didn't think it was that big a deal, was, you know. <laughs> oh, God. So uh, it's a really good series, actually. It focuses on uh, the kind of behind the scenes, the making of the problems that were involved in getting it, getting mm -hmm. them onto screen, the, the kind of fallouts and the, the moods that actors had and how much it cost. Dirty Dancy one's very, very good indeed, actually. Um, but it was just a, it's just a kind of good excuse to kind of find out what films actually change your life. And we asked on Twitter and we got some great responses. Thank you very much to all of you that got in touch. The first one that got in touch was someone called Stuart, which I'm presuming is... Uh, it's, no, I it's, reckon it is. It's Stuart Armour, isn't it? So he's taking the week off, yet he's sat there listening to the show. Yeah. That's just weird. Mm -hmm. That's just stupid. You may as well be here, mate. Earn, yeah. money, to, earn money to listen apparently to this if you can. At, apparently anyway. he's at another TikTok, mate, but less said about uh, that, the better. There you go. Well, there's another disaster waiting to happen. Yep. Carry on. Last time we went to a TikTok meet, he ended up getting a bus to Wales. What? And then got ghosted. Absolute shambles. Yes. Uh, so he said, hey, Jamie and the gang, the films that inspire me are Hitch and She's Out of My League. What? There you go. Fantastic. Th I think that just says a lot more about Stuart than it does the quality of either of those films. Hitch did make me an Usher fan, I'm not going to lie. <sighs> Right, uh, Luke A, uh, Luke Anderson. Uh, Luke was the winner of Big Brother uh, at some point when I was on it. I can't remember which year it was. Uh, he said, uh, Splash made me realise complicated women were worth the extra legwork. I mean, it's the truth. It is the truth. It is the yeah. truth, but yeah. It is the truth. And uh, a fake... Also, legwork for leg a film know. about a mermaid is very it's interesting clever. word yeah. choice. Very yeah. clever indeed. Uh, and uh, a f an actual famous movie director has been in touch John, I saw, yeah. John Baird, the director of Stan and Ollie, and also of Filth, amongst others, he said, A Clockwork Orange made me want to be a director. Same rules mm. apply. Mm. Good film, good film. Uh, any of those? What, what, what's, your, what's the film that changed your life then? I'm well, going to guess I, something I, I, like well, first thing is, Space Chimps 3 for you or first something. Thing when Saturday is, comes. First thing is, I've compiled all of these for right, you. Okay, on so these let's, let's, should we run through them? No, 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 let's not. Uh, you can do. Come all right, on, okay, so we've give had, a mention to the film. So we've had Splash, Clockwork Orange, Spice World, A Serious Man. Kez from Francis Cotton, uh, Wizard of Oz, mm -hmm. uh, Predator, mm -hmm. yes. Forrest Gump, mm -hmm. yeah. The Deer Hunter, nice. Star Wars, The Blues Brothers, mm -hmm. Terminator 2, Robocop, Aliens, cl oh, cling film, stupid Nigel, uh, and Labyrinth, and uh, Staying Alive, and Duck 
soup. Yes. All of them, so very, 16, very good films. So 16 films you've just named. Yeah. Of those, I've seen five of those films. Oh, really? Yes. Um, what do you watch, Sam? So boy. interestingly what enough, though, interestingly enough, one of the films, though, named... Is the name that changed my life? Oh, is the film bring that it on isn't life? on there. I had money on Bring It On. And interesting enough, it's not Spice World. I know what you were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> which which film changed your life? It's the Blues Brothers. Wow. Which I've openly said on air before. Fair. It's the only film poster that I've ever had framed. It's the only thing that hangs on a wall within my room. Wow. That you're painting. Are you single? <sighs> Of course enough, he is. Must be. Must be. <laughs> Funnily enough. Yes. Come into my boudoir. Yes. Why is nothing on your wall except an old frame yes. Blues Brothers poster? That, I'm, I'm going to. <laughs> we are not making love. I'm leaving. Call me an Uber. Yeah, that's. There you go. Um, and that's my life. Blues um, Brothers. I mean, it's a great, it's a good film. But it's a fantastic film. It's changed your life. Everything you need. It got me, uh, it really got me interested in music and that style of music. Um, and I've got a lot of appreciation. And now all you listen to is Lewis Capaldi. <laughs> And, no, and Jess I Glynn. No, I don't just listen Mate, to that. Mate, you travelled to Spain to a festival just to watch Jess Glynn. No. So is that the Blues Brothers Jerry fault, Cinnamon. is it? Jerry Cinnamon. No, I've told you this already on air today. Ah, oh, dear. What it about you, fantastic. Van? Oh, I am just going to say, on the back of He Had the Frame poster, it, in my old place, my ex-partner and I had our two favourite movies uh, framed uh, on the walls. Yeah. And as a result, uh, I had the Terminator 2 poster framed in my office. Yeah. And as a result of her, we had to sleep beneath the glaring face of Hannibal Lecter. Wow. Uh, every night. It never creeped me out or anything, but her favourite was uh, Silence of the Lambs. Mine, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Second to that, I'll go with Aliens. Third, yeah. I'll go with uh, possibly Clerks. I'm a big Clerks fan. Uh, uh, Robocop, okay. Starship Troopers. Yeah. Uh, big fan of The Thing. I've watched Clerks, by the way. You've yeah. seen Clerks? Believe it or not, I've watched that. Black no, and white, isn't it? The yeah. films you haven't seen, but you've seen Clerks. Yeah. It's just God, Lord. I've never seen Kez. I want to know about Jamie. Yeah. What's Jamie? your favourite, Jamie? Well, what made you? I think... It's, oh, it's tricky, actually. I've just changed my mind at the last minute. Smart. It was going to be Superman the movie, Richard, the Richard Donner one, Fair. because just the music and uh, it just kind of... I, th I just found it man, I just found it incredible uh, as a kid to watch. It's a glorious film, isn't it? But I think the film that really kind of affected me the most, easily, E.T. Ooh. <sighs> He was on TV the Easily. other week. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm not holding him with that advert. Can I, can I throw out a shout-out as well for Jurassic Park? Because I think for anyone my yeah. age, I was 10 years old, Jurassic Park came out. That was a game-changer. Changed cinema. That Changed really cinema. did. Changed cinema. Independence Day as well. Yeah. Oh, hang on a sec. Don't, don't, don't push it. Different time, man. <laughs> Different time. Uh, other side of the glass. Have we done your movies yet? Have we done your movies? Let's have a listen. Let's Tell us what tell us what films you've changed your life. Wayne's World. James oh, Wayne. nice. What That's the a fantastic, hell? Hang on a second. Fantastic the film. music, like the opening scene. We're with getting the into millennial. We're getting into millennial Cooper, levels. Steve, stuff. my Frankenstein. But the, but, but the film that changed your life is Wayne's World. Yeah, wow. Absolutely what's, brilliant. What's yours, other Becky? Gold member. Um, no. Uh, fantastic <laughs> film. No, funny enough, but mine is, I don't know if you heard that it was a movie, The Bears That Saved Christmas. The Bears That Saved Christmas. This is the most Christmas. interesting she, thing. She just told us about this. She right. tried to guess the title and got it in one. Go on. It's a, it's a cartoon. I'm going to sound so lame. It's a cartoon about two bear siblings that saved Christmas, and it just was so emotional to me, and I was a kid, me and my brother would watch it, and... It, like, brought us together. There you go. Perfect answer. It doesn't matter what the film is. Right. It's an emotional response, not the fact that... Do you uh, want to know the God's honest reason why I started working in radio? Go on. God's honest reason? Movie Airheads. Blues Brothers. No, nope. Boat That Rocked. No! The Boat That Rocked? I watched The Boat That Rocked what? and I was like, do you know what? I want to be a DJ. I want to be a radio DJ. How's that working out for you? <laughs> Here I am with you on a Sunday. <laughs> There you go. Prime time at Talk Radio. Ian Collins, quickly, put your head around the door. Shout out loud. What was the film that changed your life? Uh, film, no, probably, no, it's the book, really. No, it's no good, is it? It's no good saying book. You no, it's got to be a film. Uh, Midnight Express. A good, good Ooh, film. Good nice. choice. Ian Collins is up next uh, from four until seven, then Bob Mills from seven, and, no, it's from Giles Curran from seven until ten. Have yourselves a great weekend, and I will see you next Sunday at 1pm. You're listening to Talk Radio in association with The Times. Be well informed.